And for some of you, I would like to introduce Mirka. What is Mirka? Because for me, when I started uh, to work with them like two and a half years uh, ago, I did not know. Uh, at all what what Mirka is. It might be uh, very known in the in the Nordics and in the in the surface finishing industry, but it wasn't for me at that time. And now after this uh, two plus years of cooperations, uh, co cooperation, it is like Apple in the surface finishing technology because they deliver. I was able to to actually touch their 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 products and be in their in their headquarters in their factory, and uh, I was really impressed uh, about the detail that they pay for the experience of the of the of the professional users so of the of the end users. So they are making these power tools very nice looking and very nice uh, very, very usable, but also they they are manufacturing abrasives, uh, dust sanders surface finishing and everything that uh, that can be used uh, in surface finishing and who am i uh, so i'm mateusz ostafil and i'm sap spartacus technology evangelist uh, at divanta so what i do mainly i promote uh, headless technology i teach spartacus i do some marketing materials but I also technical materials about spartacus but in the mirka project uh, i was acting as an expert uh, of, of headless technology but also as a front-end team leader so i know the project uh, inside out so i've mentioned spartacus so that's something that you might know even less than than mirka so let me just uh, give you a quick uh, sum up what is spartacus and spartacus is a set of angular libraries that allow building rapid pwa storefront or headless storefront for sap commerce and uh, the set of library is developed by divante with it's developed by uh, by SAP with support of Devanta, so we are building this this solution uh, solution together. And throughout this talk, you will actually find out how Spartacus helped us uh, delivering the B two B commerce solution in. Uh, only six months. So what I'll be talking about. This is the agenda of uh, of my presentation, and we have actually gone through two points already. So now I'm presenting the agenda, and uh, now after that I want to show you the what was the project scope, and then I would like to focus the most uh, of my presentation on the challenges and how did we overcome them, and also I'll dive deep a little bit into the text tech stack, and then show you the outcomes of the of the project. So let's get started. So it was quite a big project because it was like a greenfield project of building a multi-sales the main sales channel for Mirka. so moving from traditional sales to the to the e-commerce so we were uh, supposed to build multi multi-market b2b e-store but it also encapsulated the product design so divante was uh, responsible for for designing the system of course Mirka had a lot of ideas but the product design was was, uh, was on our side so and it was something beyond the just b2b e-store it was meant to be a partner portal so it's not like a web shop or e-store it's called partner portal that's because it's a tool for the partners so the partners can check their status there they can have a look at the knowledge base because um, Mirka before struggled with like keeping in sync with their partners with the current uh, sales materials current instructions and and things like that so all the materials are available throughout throughout the, the partner throughout the portal uh, also, the partner portal supported reporting features for their partners, so the partners can check their their um, their performance, their sales performance, and the buying performance. They can also manage their own organizations. So, if the partners have multiple employees, they can set up who is responsible for what, for uh, for for buying, for approving the 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 purchases, and many many more features were developed throughout this project. Uh, so the scope was quite high. That was one of the first challenges, but not all of these. Uh, we had a lot more challenges. The first one we've mentioned uh, during the introduction. So the project start actually was almost the same time when the when the pan pandemic started. So when uh, we were when Mirka was um, announcing the uh, request for uh, proposals, and there were the the final presentation was set up somewhere in the March 2020. I don't remember the the exact date, but I remember that we were supposed to go to Mirka headquarters and present our our offer 
there. But uh, the, the flight was canceled two days before because the, the, the pandemic started and the lockdown started that time. And that was uh, the one, one of the main challenges. The other one was that uh, we uh, had an intercompany remote uh, remote team. So remote during uh, because of the pandemic was something new, but it was for for everyone. But we had an intercompany team because we were working with uh, also with KPS, who were the the backend provider. Ivan was responsible for the product design and the front end. So we not only had to learn to work with ourselves remotely, but also with with other companies. So there were three entities that had to work together. And to be honest, that was the, our first Spartacus project. Of course, we had the experience of building the Spartacus as a, as a library, but the, it was our first implementation project. And it was one of the first on the market because we were starting with Spartacus version two, which was very, very early on the uh, on the market, and uh, it was kind of adventurous <laughs> choice to 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 build with Spartacus. But it, in the end, uh, you'll see that it was the right choice. And uh, at that time, this version 2.0 of, of Spartacus ha had missing B2 features. It was on the roadmap, it was, it was planned, but it was missing and some things we had to uh, code ourselves. Uh, and the deadline actually was the, the, the most challenging because it was like uh, half a year, six months. So for, for delivery, delivering such a huge project, it was quite short. And what all, uh, what did not help is was that uh, in the project planning, we missed one thing that uh, there is a something like Finnish holiday, which is not popular in uh, in Poland and in the UK because KPS, our other partner, was uh, from uh, UK, uh, that the Finnish people go on holiday all at the same time. So it uh, impacted a little bit uh, the, the pace of the project. Okay, so how did we overcome the challenges like the, like the pandemic? Uh, the first thing was that uh, Devante, even before pandemic, uh, uh, was betting on rem remote so the working remotely was was allowed uh, since uh I don't know when, but long before the pandemic started. So the people were already used to uh, used to working remotely. We all also are kind of uh, quite flexible company because we are working with, with different technologies, with different uh, different markets, different uh, companies. So it it also help. Uh, the communication, I know it's 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 like a slogan here, but we really had a great project manager who made everyone to talk to each other even remotely and uh, and forced us a little bit to 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 work together uh would help and and that helped and actually i would say here that uh, in some in some way pandemic helped us in communication and in working together because it was not like some like, like one company is is working remotely and uh the rest of the team is 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 working on site because such a mix uh, is not working well because not everyone are on the same level Level in in discussion, if some part of the uh, of the team is uh, meeting face to face and some part is just calling in, then it's uh, then it's it's not fair, I would say. Uh, but here, uh, because of the pandemic, we were all in the same situation, and 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 all the other issues, and we could see each other homes. That brought us actually closer than we would be working than we would be working in in the office, because in the office we were very official, and here uh, when the Oh, the whole families were were like involved in that in that project. So that's the thing that uh, pandemic actually I think uh, helped the project. So the cooperation. This is uh, something. This is a photo that uh, was taken uh, from our visit uh, at the at the Mirka uh, office. And uh, after this long working time, we were able to form one team, even though we are from all different companies. But this comes with a time. So we, we had to be patient that, you know, it's not like we can be one team since the day one. We need to estimate that some things will take time. And at the beginning, our pace and our velocity will be smaller than uh, we will have in the end. And the important thing is that uh, not to forget that uh, to have fun during the, the project, to have fun uh, of what we are doing, doing what we, what we are building, but also to have uh, fun uh, besides, the, besides the project. And what helped us hitting the deadline? And it was for sure, for sure, Spartacus. Because Spartacus, as mentioned before, allows for rapid uh, front-end development. And uh, it was like a test ride. And this project was uh, was like a test ride for the project. And we, well, the the the, the assumption was that it, it does. But uh, throughout this project, we, prove, uh, we have proven that. Because it uh, gives you a lot of features out of the box. And it gives you a unified architecture. So you don't have to spend time on thinking 
how to build, how, how to structure things. You just uh, customize the features to your needs. Uh, but besides Spark, I guess we also, what we did, we planned all the sprints uh, upfront because six months is not that much. And we had like three week, three week long sprints. So uh, we could count <laughs> count uh, the sprints on our hands. So we we, we could plan all, all that sprints uh, ahead so we could see if that is doable at all. But then we applied a realistic margin. margin. So for example, we assume that developers don't work eight hours a day. They work six, hour, uh, six hours a day effectively. Act effectively. And we also assume that uh, when there is a sprint start and the sprint end, they, they like uh, get uh, two days, like non-working days because there are lots of meetings and, and, and so on and so forth. So that's something that we took into, into account. And we also had to expect the unexpected. So even though all the sprints were planned ahead, different things uh, could happen. There was COVID, so people got sick from time to time. So we had to replan the things and also at some, at some point employ more developers. And because the sprints were planned ahead, we could, we, we knew that upfront and we could uh, arrange some more resources earlier. So let's talk now about the tech stack. And uh, the main point in our tech stack was uh, actually Spartacus. And here we can see that this is the integration point because we integrated with a lot of services uh, and Spartacus perfectly allows for that because Spartacus is built in headless uh, headless commerce in uh, in mind so spartak is itself is built on uh, on on angular and what we added to this is, were the integrations with for example cms uh, optimizely previously it was known as epi server uh, we also integrated with uh, it with image kit which is the image optimization service uh, we integrated it with sap uh, gigia or now called cdc customer data services for uh, single sign on and also for payments we use Used Adian. Out of the box, Spartacus has an integration with SAP Commerce, and it's prim primarily built for integrating integrating with 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 SAP Commerce. However, because of um, Mirka internal systems, the commerce backend was affected in some way. So some 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 data structures changed, and some uh, some. Um, some some uh, flows has, have also changed, so we had to adapt to uh, to that situation. So now let's uh, head on to to, to, the, to the end of this uh, of this uh, presentation. So let me share with you the outcomes of the project. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, any financial data, so I cannot even even though if I had, I couldn't uh, share that with you. However, I can tell you that it was quite significant boost in in revenue for Mirka because the, the because of the partner portal they have received their partners have received like a surf service portal so they could make purchases on their uh, on their own uh, but uh, what was also a great outcome was that we delivered the project in six months so so we hit the deadline and that was thanks to Spartacus and a couple of other things uh, and now Mirka is uh, serving this this portal to 16 countries among two continents so here you can see uh, the uh, the countries that are served uh, currently, and there are more coming because we've extended the cooperation and now we have two plus years, two and a half year almost uh, of, of, uh, of cooperation and we are still uh, continuing the cooperation and uh, building new features and, and uh, releasing this to new countries. And my own <laughs> memory from the project is that I was able to visit uh, Finland and have uh, an opportunity to visit uh, Finnish sauna and uh, remember this, this smell of, of coal. But the most significant thing that I would like to end with is the quote from the Mirka partner who were uh, using the, 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 the partner portal. And he said that this is the best thing Mirka has ever done. <laughs> so I think during this project, we could uh, keep up the, the idea of Mirka of like delivering great user experience to, to the professional users who are using their tools to move that experience to the partner portal. So thank you very much for listening. If you would like to know more about uh, about this project, here is a link to the case study that we have uh, wrote down. Uh, it's on our, available on our website. There are some more, more detailed information.